Making a paper mache model of the human brain. What I used. An A3 carton. White paper. A pencil and eraser. Masking tape. Scissors. A large bowl. One part flour and two parts water, a paintbrush, and newspaper. First, I drew a mid-sagittal and coronal view of the brain. The link of the picture I used as reference is in the description box. I placed a blank page behind each drawing and cut them out. These will be my templates. I then place the drawings aside for later use. Then I place the templates on the carton, trace the shapes and cut them out. I remember when I went to the doctor as a little girl. My favourite part about the visits was always seeing the 3D model of the human brain that had a quarter section. I have always been fascinated by the human brain. That inspired me to do my own version of this 3D model for this project. Next, I made an incision halfway into each shape, one from the top and the other from the bottom. I slide the one into the other and secure them in place with masking tape. Sometimes I wonder why I can remember very difficult things very easily, but forget very simple little things, like where I put my glasses. Once secured, it's easy to see the 3D form take shape. I place that aside for now. After that, I grab the newspaper and start scrunching it into balls. I tear some pages in half before scrunching them up to make shaping the brain a bit easier. I grab the carton and start taping the scrunched newspaper in three quarters of the shape. Throughout this process, I've learned that making models is a good way of helping me remember information better as it combines my curious intellectual mind with my expressive creative mind. With three quarters now shaped, I grab a blank page and fold it in half to create a template for the final quarter. I've been practicing my dictation for a while now to train my brain to concentrate and focus for longer periods of time and it's actually been working pretty well. I place the template on the carton, trace it and cut it out.
I used the template to create two marks on the cotton that will guide a fold. Using a ruler and said marks, I create the fold in the cotton. I fill up this quarter with scrunched newspaper balls and tape them in place as well. And now the basis for the whole model is complete. Next, I cover the entire model in masking tape to create some structure and prevent any of the other newspaper to get wet during paper mache. I then grab the bowl, the flour and the water and mix everything together until there are no clots in the mixture. Next, I grab a newspaper, which I tear up into different size strips. Next, I grab a strip of newspaper, dunk it into the mixture and place it onto the model, which I repeat until the entire model is covered. To create the wrinkles on my model, I grab a piece of newspaper, dunk it into the mixture and wring it into a rope-like form, which I then re-dunk into the mixture and bend and twist into a wrinkly form, which I place onto the model. And this is how it looks completed and dried. And finally, I can start decorating my model. I start by painting the whole thing white. I then add a splash of color, each lobe in its own. I placed the initial drawings inside of the model and on the outside of the final quarter. And finally, I add the labels. And there we go. I really enjoyed this assignment and now I can say that I own my own 3D model of the human brain.